year. Um, you know, for people who are just joining or people who are just seeing you, this is my special woman joining. Um, her name is Fola Adegoke, and she is the founder and lead trainer at Winfinite Consulting. Winfinite Consulting is an IT and audit cybersecurity training firm here in Canada. And, um, you know, she has over a decade experience in IT audit, cybersecurity, IT governance, risk, and compliance, that's GRC, and network security gained from working in several organizations in consulting, financial, and the telecommunications sector. So this is not me just bringing somebody who just says, oh, uh, you know, I'm going to be telling you all about IT audit or GRC without having the extensive knowledge. She is well. She is a certified information systems auditor. That's Lisa. She is a certified data privacy solutions engineer and certified scrum master with other certifications in information security management and information technology infrastructure library. Um, over the past three years, Fola has helped numerous professionals transition into the IT audit and cybersecurity fields. In her spare time, she loves reading and dancing, and she also enjoys spending time outdoors with her family. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, today we're going to be having a free information session on IT audit and GRC training. And um, of course, on that note, I would be passing on the mic to my guest, Fola Adekoke, Fola Adekoke who has um, you know, the vast experience to tell us more about this sector. For people who are looking to transition into tech, this is for you. For people who already work in that tech space and you want to level up your career in IT audit, you need to be here. If you have friends and family who want to get into tech, please share this link with them and tell them to watch this Instagram live. Um, Shadi, I'm going to be passing. For, for, I'll call you Fola sometimes. I'll call you Shadi sometimes. But yes, you know you're the one I'm, I'm, I'm referring to. I'm going to be passing the mic over to you, you know, just to let people know more about what um, IT audit and GRC about so that people can enroll in the training. Okay. Thanks, Arike, for that um, wonderful introduction. So um, my name is Fala. Um, basically, today I will be talking about how to transition into the technology space without prior IT knowledge. So first of all, what is IT audit and what is cybersecurity? I'm sure that that's, that is the first question that comes to mind. So IT audit, you know, is basically the review or evaluation of the IT environment of every to make sure that IT controls have been put in place to protect the systems and the information. And when we talk about cybersecurity GRC, so Starting with cybersecurity, cybersecurity is really broad, right? I hear a lot of people saying, oh, I want to switch to cybersecurity. But then again, you need to first of all determine the specific domain, right, of cybersecurity you want to specialize in. For example, for those without technology background, a very good starting point is to start with the IT governance risk and compliance management. So under IT risk, you're basically looking at what are some of the IT incidents or issues that can prevent that organization from achieving its objective? If you go online right now and you just you know, type in Google, three top IT risks, one of the top risks will be cybersecurity, right? I'm sure we all heard about what happened to Loblaws, I believe, um, sometime this week, right? So that is why cybersecurity security is one of the top IT risks. So organizations need to ensure that they have IT risk management or managers to keep on top of these IT risks. They want to make sure that the IT risks have been identified and controls. Controls can be policies, tools, people are ensuring that those risks are being prevented or mitigated. Good example, in your house, right? You have a door. That's the layman way of explaining it. 
your door is to prevent unauthorized access. You don't yes, have to yes. just clean into your house uninvited. So that door is a control to prevent unauthorized access into your home. Now, when we look at the governance bit of things, what is governance? Governance speaks to policy, committees, frameworks, right? When you join any new organization as a new employee, typically you go through, you know, mandatory trainings. Cybersecurity training is one of those trainings you go through. So your governance speaks to documentation, policies, your information security policy. As a new employee, when you join, you go through that training and you acknowledge that you've read and understood some of the trainings, code and ethics and all of that. And then the last bit, the English meaning of compliance, you're complying with something, right? Depending on the industry you work for, you might need to comply with regulatory requirements. Every employee needs to comply with policies within the organization. All right. So for people without IT background, I would recommend starting with the IT GRC space or the IT audit space. And the fantastic thing is, I mean, even without having a tech background, you have so many transferable skills that you've done maybe in your previous work or job that you can move over to this new space. Now, your next question might be, if I don't have the background or the experience, how do I get a job? Now, a lot of recruiters, what you're basically looking for is as long as you're able to demonstrate that you have the right skills and experience. For example, I've talked so much about controls today. I've also talked about IGRC. If on your resume, you have those keywords, they invite you for an interview and you're able to demonstrate that you have the skills and experience to perform on the job you've upskilled, right? I mean, the employer definitely is going to take you. Another question is, oh, what if I don't have a BS in computer science or a related course? What if I don't have any certifications? So what I generally tell people is, put yourself in the shoes of the... So as you mean, you have people, you're interviewing two people. One person has all the certifications world, seasons, CISSP, CISA, PCI, and the rest. The other person doesn't have any certification, but during the interview, the person is able to speak intelligently. The person is able to demonstrate that they have the, you know, required skills and experience. Even you as the employer, clearly you're going to go with the person that is able to speak intelligently and demonstrate they have the right experience and quality. Okay, so I'm going to stop. Specific question. Thank you. I, I think I think you have already hit the nail on the head. Like you've already said everything in a nutshell. Um, but for people who are watching and you know, so so the thing about social media is that a lot of people come online and say, Oh, you know, I can do this, oh, you can do this. But I always like to hear people's stories so that people can see that you're a walking billboard of you know what you're preaching. So in terms of getting into IT and having over a decade of experience, can you run us through your background experience so that younger people who are watching and want to transition and even people who are much older who feel like they're stuck in a space, they're stuck in a career that they don't even want to do anymore and they want to transition to tech, they want to transition to IT audits. Um, you know, your story would encourage them and it will give them that sort of, um, you know, it will give them that sort of free mind to know that the, the assurance better still to know that Shade did it if Shade could do it when she did it I can also you know take that step in 2023 and begin to push for um you know getting into that space that I want to get into so can you just give us a brief rundown of your tech um experience from day one and up until now that you're in Canada because I know that you moved from Nigeria and, you know, for people who are also watching from abroad, from any part of the world that want to move to another country, it might not be Canada, it might be Australia, it might be somewhere else. And they want to get the required skills to, you know, level up whenever they get into the country that they're going to. Give us a rundown and then just, you know, let's kind of understand your journey. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to give um, a rundown of my journey as well as a rundown of, you know, some of the participants of our program. So I start with myself. Um, yes. I've been in the technology space all my life, 
right? I studied computer science, even though, I mean, you know how we can be in Nigeria universities. What I studied and what I do are two different things, right? But um, I started my career with KPMG, so consulting. Um, I started with IT audit and cybersecurity space. So what I was doing basically, IT audits for organizations, penetration testing, both internal and external pen tests, um, PCI DSS compliance examination for organizations. And then after some time with consulting, I worked, you know, diff you know how it is in consulting. You work for one of the big fours and then you're working for different client organizations. So from aviation, yes. financials, to oil and gas. And then I moved to a telecommunication firm which was something totally new. So I started learning about 4G, 5G, data, voice, VOIP, you know, different things. And then from there, I moved to Canada. The fantastic thing about technology is it's without borders. It doesn't restrict you. It's not like um, some other courses or professions that when you come like, to Canada, you need to... I know. I mean, I'm, I'm a lawyer and I'm licensed in Nigeria, but I can't practice here, so... Don't worry. I'm a working example. Me, I didn't want to be specific about profession. <laughs> Don't worry. Right? So, you know, for some um, careers, when you come here, maybe you just need to start afresh with CP or you need to convert to your law degree, right? For technology, you don't have that. It's smooth sailing, right? Irrespective of your location. Australia, India, Europe, it's the same thing. Technology is technology. So I moved to Canada. And then the first organization I worked for, I went back to consulting. I think in less than a month, when I got to Canada, I'd stay working. Immediately, I was in um, one of the big fours again for barely one month. I moved around, basically. So right now, I'm in the financial um, industry, and I'm still doing the same thing. So I started with IT audit, then moved to cybersecurity, and now I'm in a space called um, technology controls testing. So basically... Something fantastic about technology space is, although you want to, you know, transition into IT or into cybersecurity, there are like numerous roles you could also fit into. So with one resume, you can apply for like 10 different jobs. Okay. So easy. I mean, I major in IT or in cybersecurity, but I have, you know, Scrum Master. So, I mean, it's so easy you can actually move around and the good thing about it audit cyber security space is you speak with so many departments across the business so before you know it one minute maybe you're working with the change management team you're learning about change management another minute you're working with developers or devops you're learning about what they do right another minute you're working with maybe the infrastructure team backup drp disaster recovery plan and all of that so maybe after like a year or a few months you can then decide to see you know what i've walked around right i feel like i can now easily move to another technology department the fact that you have that it audit or it GRC experience it's good it's something you can leverage on to move to the next level of your career so that is my background but then i'm going to talk about another background right so um, we offer trainings to professionals that want to transition into technology, specifically into IT audit, cybersecurity, GRC, or data analytics space. So I'm going to give you a recent example of um, one of the candidates from a previous class. So it's, it's a program, and it's a beginner-level course, meaning the expectation is no knowledge of IT no prior IT or digital cyber security experience. That's very good. Now, the approach is to start from level zero, right? With the assumption that everybody that has enrolled for that program knows nothing about IT. So the first week is more like a recap for a lot of people, right? What are technology keywords? What are those, some of those words? Now, for, this, um, for some of these people, they come from maybe accounting background, customer care, health care from different locations, India, um, Nigeria, UK, Australia, right? So when they join, we start all of this. And the good thing is it's a practical class. Now, the objective is to be job ready. For those that live in Canada, you know how it is. You get a new job. You're on probation for six months. 
that six months is very important. You want to make sure that you're able to keep the ground running when you start. Yes. So the training is hands-on. You want to learn exactly what you'll be doing at work. So we run you through the entire thing, right? Now, we also do role play. It's an experiential type of learning. So we introduce different ways because, again, people learn in different ways. Oh, yes. Some like, yeah, yes. some like to see, right? And more recently, we've noticed that people actually like role play, right? So when you role play, it's going to stick in your head. And the most important thing is to learn how to apply the knowledge. So whatever knowledge you learn, you're able to apply it irrespective of, you know, whatever industry or situation you find yourself. That would also help you during the interview process. Because again, employers no longer ask theoretical questions during interviews. It's mostly scenario-based questions. Scenario, yes. Study. yes. They want to be sure that you've not crammed what is on Google, on the internet. They want to be sure that you have the right experience and skills. So they will give you different scenarios, and then you should be able to speak to that. Mm -hmm. Now, to the question. So um, this person I was talking about, no technology background whatsoever. Now, he had attended a previous training and he didn't get value. So that was the first thing he told me. And I assured him, I mean, I really can't do more than, you know, showing you other people's success stories and assuring you. But what would really give you that validation is to try out. So he tried the class and he started interviewing. Because as part of the course outline, not only do we teach, you know, what you need to learn and be able to do as an IT auditor or IT GRC specialist, but we also cover job strategy, interview question and answers, scenario-based questions. Then we practice. So the entire life cycle of what you'll be doing from client meetings, walkthroughs, um, information requests, you know, all of that. So we encourage participants to start interviewing during the program. That way, you can start applying what you're learning to real life scenarios. And if there are any questions you're unable to answer, you bring it back to class and we revisit it. Okay. So shortly after the program, he was able to get a job and happily it was a six figure job. He was, wow. he was big. Right. Wow. In here in Canada. Yeah. Here in Canada. Canada. Or in the US. Yeah. Because I know, I know you have students in the U.S. as well. So the, yeah. this guy was in Canada. Yes, he was in Canada. But we work with people, Canada, U.S., I mean, different lines. So a lot of people, maybe from Nigeria to Canada, right? But we also work with people in the U.K. Because as I said earlier, technology is the same. IT audit is IT audit. Cybersecurity is cybersecurity. TPRM, which is third-party risk management, is the same thing everywhere. So organizations are facing... Same IT risk, irrespective of their location. Very interesting. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Bola, for that. Um, uh, I like the fact that you shared the success story. I mean, you shared yours, and you also shared that of one of the uh, one of your students who had passed through your training. There have been a, a couple of questions coming in, and. Um, the thread is really long, so I don't want I really don't want to miss out on on key questions. But please, if you have questions, go to the question um box on the live and please put your questions so that we can also pop your question um up as the comments so we can put it up so everybody can see. But there was one that I saw. Um I'm just trying to scroll to see it. There have been a couple, and you know, people have been saying hi. For you guys that are watching, we're not ignoring you. We see your comments and we appreciate you all for being here. Please continue to share this live so that more people can join. And um, I'm going to have it on my page. I'll leave it on my page after the live. I'll save it so that people can still go back and and watch it. Uh, MCH, we see you. Thank you very much. She said, well said. Um, technology needs no visa. Exactly. That's exactly what Shadi um, was saying, where technology knows it, it has no borders. Um, MCH says, my son is thinking of doing cyber security. I'm sure Fala will be more than glad to welcome your son into her training. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah, so Eliosa123 says, will you be the one facilitating the training? 
Yes, I will be the lead trainer, right? However, I'm going to have, you know, other participants that have still worked in different areas also come in and then speak to the class so that that way they're, you're, you're able to hear it from them right not just from me alone and we also have some other SMEs that are going to be coming in but I'm going to be the lead facilitator fantastic okay so before I move on to the next question because I know that you already mentioned some things earlier on but for people who are just joining um, welcome to this free information session on IT audit how to get into IT audit or how to even scale up your career if you're already in that sector. We have Fola Adegoke, who is the lead trainer at Winfinite Consulting. And she's giving us this information session and telling us all we need to know about um, IT audit and GRC. Am I right? Yes, you're right. GRC, perfect. Um, okay. So I know that you also mentioned earlier on that you don't need to have any tech experience. So for people who are watching who have no tech experience, they didn't study computer science in university, they didn't study information systems or information technology, they can actually, um, you know, come into this training and register, right? For sure. And you don't need to have any coding background because I know that when I hear IT, I always think coding. <laughs> I always just think of like, when I hear IT, my brain is just like, I'm just seeing wires. I'm seeing, you know, digital, digital and all of that. So it's good to know that people with no IT experience, no IT background can actually get into the training and learn without having to learn how to open a computer and, you know, screw the wires and put everything in your head. So it's really fantastic. We have a comment from Ola Modru, um, who says, how much, how much is the training for IT audits? Okay, so the training is $1,500 million. Okay. Um, training is for both IT audit and IT GRC. You can't take one from another, right? So it's together. Yes, it's together. So, so it's pretty much two trainings in one. Um, you can't even say more than that, right? Because again, the course outline covers, you know, a lot of things. So now let's start, let's backtrack a little bit. Remember, as an IT editor, what are you doing? You're evaluating the technology space. Yes. Technology is very wide, right? So you're looking at IT policies, you're looking at um, the security, you're looking at compliance, best practice frameworks. So for example, you can finish the class and say, you know what, I want to specialize in PCI DSS. Or I want to be an information security awareness officer. I mean, there's so many roles. Or you want to be a remediation officer. So many things. IT risk manager. So it's a lot in one. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. So we have MCH saying, how long is the training? If I remember on the on your poster, it's eight weeks. Eight weeks. It's yeah. Eight weeks. It's, so it's, how is that going to be? Is it weekends? Like, so it's twice a week. The major class is held on Saturday for four to five hours, with of course breaks in between. Okay. Not to overwhelm people, we try to make the class as interactive as possible. So we encourage people to turn their videos. Um, we also have like quizzes. We do role play. We sort of do different things so that people are not overwhelmed. Especially 